the plays with the six. Now these are some of the more interesting plays in uh, backgammon openings. We'll start with the six two because this is fairly straightforward. This is the worst roll you can start with in a game of backgammon. Uh, this is a bit like getting your seven two offsuit in Texas Hold'em. You can still win with it, no problem. It's not you know terrible, but it's the worst move you can start with. And there's only really one play you can make that actually is, has positive equity in, for the game here. And that is bringing the six out and the two down. As I say, don't be too worried about putting uh, checkers here, even though they look vulnerable. They're really not that bad. You, you, if you lead to being hit here with sixes, ones, if you get hit here, you will have probably have a good chance of coming back and hit him back here and it's to your advantage to exchange hits on this point. So this is the correct move with the 6-2. Some people will run with the 6-2, they'll play the 6 and then the 2 out here. Uh, I'd say this is the wrong play and it's wrong because it doesn't really do much for your position. This can't be said to be a builder, it's not really doing anything here, it's, it's more vulnerable to, to hit some here. And it loses a certain connectiveness with your other checker. And what I mean by that is, whereas with a checker here, if it gets hit, you can come back from your re-entry point here. Any number with a six will then hit here. But if you have it here, the gap between your checkers is more than six points here. So you, you lose connection. And if that gets hit, and the enemy checker is now occupying this space, when you re-enter, your chances of hitting back here are much, much lower. So always with the 6-2, I think the only positive move you can play with the 6-2 is to play the 6 out and the 2 down. Now the other next one with the 6, this is uh, again very similar uh, with the 6-3. Uh, again, best move I'd say here, come out with the 6 and come down with the 3. Again, you're doing more things than just one. You're getting that out again, you're tempting the exchange here, stand a chance of making this bar point, also you have a builder down here in a useful place, especially five spaces away from here. Now the alternative to that, running with the back checker, the six, and then the three, is again slightly wrong. It, it's not terribly wrong, um, because for the same reasons it's wrong as the 6-2, but it is slightly nearer here. Beginner players, people um, who think they're up against much stronger players and don't want the more complex game, but could go for this one, hoping not to get hit and then getting it to safety on the next turn. I wouldn't recommend it personally. 6-3 to me is pretty much um, the 6 out and the 3 down. Now, one of the most interesting roles in backgammon for the other opening is the 6-4. This is probably the most contentious role in an opening. Uh, different players have different opinions on this one. Heated arguments uh, often ensue. There's a few things you can do here with the 6-4. You can, of course, similarly with the other 3-1, um, 5, 3-4-2, is make an inner board point. But it's very deep, as you can see, with the 6-4. Um, a lot of people will play this if they are two points away from winning a match or four points away simply because although it lessens your chance of winning the game slightly because you're burying checkers very deeply here in the first move it does increase your potential for gammons so in a two, if you're two points behind or four points behind with the aid of the cube gammon will be very effective um, Another point is, it's a good starting move if you're thinking of playing a, uh, a blitz on, a, on one of the subsequent turns, or go into blitz in another part, but when you, blitz is basically when you are all out attack on your own home board, hitting the opponent's checkers, taking risks by playing checkers in a long way and leaving blocks, but hoping to get away with it, make the points, and close out the opponent very, very quickly. When a blitz play works, it can be very devastating and lead to very quick gammons. When it goes wrong, of course, we'll go into this in another part, it can leave you very vulnerable. So, the 6-4 uh, played this way. Apologies for the little interruption there. The camera battery ran out, as it always tends to do at the most inopportune moments. Anyway, uh, where were we? 6-4. Uh, 
Yeah. I was just saying how this move with the 6-4, making the inner board point, can be helpful in making uh, blitz plays. Uh, one of the reasons I like to use it when I'm going to play a blitz play on subsequent turns is that blitz plays, when you're trying to hit an opponent repeatedly, keeping them on the bar so they can't enter while you quickly assemble your home board points, is that the higher board points are easier to get to quickly to make quick attacks so that when you're coming down from the midpoint here you can then bear in quickly to get during a blitz to hit on the higher points. When you've already made the lower point to your two point here that one is already covered so you can blitz earlier in the in the board which is why I quite find it useful for that. But it does slightly lessen your chance of winning an individual game here. Not, I would say, by as much as people think, and say a lot of players will avoid this play uh, for the majority of the time. It is the incorrect play equity-wise, but I don't think it's as bad as uh, is generally thought. I like to throw this one into the mix uh, quite a few times, playing the 6-4 this way in an opening. Alright, other ways of playing the 6-4 in an opening. Um, you've also got the running play here with the 6 and the 4. Now unlike the 6-2 and the 6-3 this is actually much more of a viable option here with the with this one. Same problems that affect the 6-3 and 6-2 apply here with this checker but it's much less vulnerable here. You really do stand a good chance of getting this one safe well, because apologies. there is once again this time apparently I hadn't quite put the battery in correctly and it lost the recording. So you don't get this level of professionalism just anywhere, you know. Anyway, where were we again? Right, 6-4, running play to here. Uh, as I say, you, now you are less vulnerable here than you are by, with the 6-2 and the 6-3. Because the hitting numbers are reduced. Black has less than a third of chance to, to hit this back now. Uh, 11 rolls of the 36 because, as I say, the double one is denied him. So it's a good safe play, it's a good play for either newer players or players who are up against stronger opposition uh, to play this move, the running play with the 6-4. Because you check uh, two thirds of the time you're going to get away with not being hit here and then you can get that round. But I think the probably the most preferred play that experienced players would choose with the 6-4 here is to play the 6 out here and the 4 down here. Um, this is probably, uh, it, it does more for your position, it's an aggressive play in both, so on both sides of the board. And it does lead to much more contact, much more complicated games. So if you're prepared to play those sort of uh, hitting and exchanging games, I would recommend this as the preferred choice for the 6-4. But don't be afraid to vary it, mix it up a bit, try the other 6-4s um, to see which one suits your style of play.